I don't remember it though. Why? Oh, well, I guess she's not lying. I've shaken a lot of people's hands. I can tell you I shake upwards of 5,000 hands in a day if I go out. You should see me walking around. It's great. I am Bill Clinton, yes. I'm the President of the United States. I'm here as an astral projection. You never thought you'd get to talk to the President of the United States, did you? Not until you became the President, right? Think of that. We want you to grow up and be President of the United States. Hillary's going to be the President in 2000. You never thought about that? Oh, well. There you got something to think about for the rest of your life. Oh, that's what I did. I was thinking about being president of the United States since I talked to the president in Washington. And here I've come to your door. I am the president, yes. When I was just a little kid, I talked to John F. Kennedy, of course. See? That's what I'm saying. We're, we're drawing a relationship between my talking to President Kennedy and you're talking to me now. You could be the President of the United States someday. Would that be great or what? You could take over after Chelsea gets back. How's that? You know who Chelsea is, right? There you go. So what else? Anything you like? No, Chelsea's not really small. She's about 5'6 right now. But she might get up to 5'9 before she's done, but I doubt it. From what I understand, women stop growing taller about the age she's getting to now. Right now? I think something like that. I'm about 19 inches. Oh, I was actually measured. See, I'm the head of the finest public government money can buy. So it's kind of a little play on words here. As the President of the United States, I could be anything this time around. I really am the President, yes, of the finest public government money can buy, elected by the American public people. You betcha. By George. Just full of amazing, just imaginative things that can go on, right? I am Bill Clinton. I'm Bill Clinton, the President of the United States. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It, that part of this, this story actually has to do with the imagination of the adults, see? You have no idea what a puppet government really is. The adults are supposed to understand when I say puppet government that that's a political term, see? Meaning that I bought and paid for. Some multinational corporation is paying me millions of dollars to do something for them. See, so I'm the head of a puppet government. That means somebody is paying my government to do what they wanted to do. Okay. It's like I have a country sitting over on that wall over there. So I take you, who don't live in that country, and I say, you're the governor. Okay, I say Connecticut. I'm the President of the United States. I say, you go to Connecticut and you're the governor. Now, because I put you in office, you are my puppet. You will do what I say for you to do. See? It's like me up here. I'm the puppet of this weird guy that sits back here. I can only do or say what he wants me to do. With a puppet government, I, as the President of the United States, the head of the finest puppet government money can buy, someone is telling me, the President of the United States, in real life. Okay. You understand now? That got even more convoluted than last time, didn't it? I am the President of the United States, yes. No, I'm a puppet, obviously. I'm an astral projection. I'm up here from, from the vineyard as an astral projection. Well, see, you didn't know that, but all the adults in this audience do. They all know it most. At least I'm a Democrat, which makes me a puppet of the Democratic Party. They ele helped elect me president. See? So the president of the United States is indeed a puppet for the Democratic Party. 
Yes. And to further that, <laughs> so were all politicians, puppets of something, most assuredly. Lobbyists and such. Okay? We sow seeds of despair in America. I am the President of the United States. I want you to know the good fairy bought me, though. Who is the president? You asked the questions. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't recognize a Cuban if I saw one. When I look around America, I see Americans. I don't see Cubans or anything. If someone walks up and introduces themselves to the Cuban, then I'll say, sure. No one has done so in the Vineyard yet. We did meet. Who did we meet the other day? Boy, that Irish guy came in, though. Isn't that great? Peace in Ireland. Wow, at last, after many years. So what do you think? You think the Catholic Church is going to let this keep going? You think they're going to pull their money out and stop paying for the guns? Who is the press? You ask the questions, we give the answers. I am the hero of an entire generation of potheads, peaceniks, philanderers, and various weirdos from your neighborhood. You ask the questions, we give the answer. They've had no one to vote for since Gene McCarthy. Whoa. The last presidential candidate to admit smoking pot. You ask the questions, we give the answers. Any questions for the President of the United States? So what about this new program, President? Which one? Or something about the environment. The, something about the environment? Yeah, I thought your, your Vice President had a program. You never, uh, you never talk all. about it. What, what's going on? We never talk about anything in the environment. There's absolutely nothing going on. Absolutely nothing. The money is running around trying to uh, rape us and uh, the... Oh man, them ecological nuts, they just ain't doing nothing. They're just wasting their time. They haven't figured out yet that the process doesn't work the way they want to run it. What are we going to do? We're going to continue to sell things. This is a capitalist state. As long as it's a capitalist state, money is always more important than the, eco the, the ecology. No doubt about it. And until the American people stand up and say we're not going to drive, gasoline automobiles anymore because it's killing us. The rest of this is a joke. Any other questions for the President of the United States? Yeah, how, do you, how do you like this astral projection stuff? Oh know. man, it's so great. I can sit in Harvard Square. I can smoke pot. Nobody can arrest me. Wonderful. It's great. I would, I would offer it to anyone. You betcha. You exhale now? I not only inhale and exhale, I do everything, man. I told the funniest political joke you've ever heard in your life. As a matter of fact, it's the funniest joke in uh, 200 years. I am the consummate politician. They asked me what I told my mother, so I told them. And they took it like a straight man. The press is wonderful. You ask the questions, we give the answers. You did laugh, didn't you? Of course. There you go. Any other questions for the President of the United States, leader of the free world? Oh, baby. Ah, here I'm flying right off my mouth. How about a question for the President of the United States? You ask the questions, we give the answers. I am the hero of an entire generation of potheads, peaceniks, philanderers, and various weirdos from your neighborhood. They voted for me for president. How about a question for the president of the United States? Well, I'll be done with questions here. You want to see a song and dance? All right. I hear tell you're doing well. Good things have come to you. I wish I had your happiness and you had to do what I could do, what I could do, what I could do, what I could do, what I could do. Yippee doo doo. -do. Well, you're riding down the street in your big Cadillac. You got the girls in the front, you got the girls in the back. Well, way in the back, you got the money in the sack. With your hands on the wheels and your shoulders right back. Rip, dip, 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 dip. I hear tell that you're doing well. The good things come to you. I wish I had your good luck charm. I am the President of the United States. He right to an entire generation of potheads and peaceniks. We want peace, and we want it today. Thank you. We're going to take five minutes of silent meditation. Oh, join us tonight.